This magnanimous question tells us that a scuba diver's tank contains 0.29 kilograms of O2, and it's compressed into a volume of 2.3 liters. It then asks us two things. Part A says calculate the gas pressure inside, so it asks us pressure. <gasps> If the temperature is equal to 9 degrees Celsius, let's begin by tackling that one. We're once again going to use our Pervnerd equation, PV equals NRT. Couple of things here. Well, I of course know my ideal gas constant is 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And the question is asking us for pressure. So I'm going to algebraically rearrange the equation to have pressure on one side and everything else on the other. Not too bad. Let's make sure that everything matches unit-wise. I have liters here. I have liters there. I've got kelvins here. Ooh, I don't have kelvins there. I've got degrees Celsius. So I'm going to have to add 273.15 to this to convert that into kelvins. We'll come back to that in a minute. Now, I've got moles here, and do I have moles anywhere else? No, I've got this crazy, stupid thing, kilograms of O2. Can I convert kilograms of O2 into moles of O2? No, I bet I could probably do that. Let's do some dimensional analysis. I've got 0.29 kilograms of O2. Hmm. I want to cancel out kilograms, so I'm going to throw that in the basement. I bet I could put grams on top so that I can eventually go to the molecular weight of O2. I can throw grams in the denominator and I can put moles in the numerator, moles of O2. One mole of O2 weighs how many grams? Well, each individual oxygen atom is 16, so that should be 32. How many grams are there in a kilogram? One kilogram contains 1,000 grams. My kilograms kill each other. My grams do, and I end up with moles of O2. Moles of O2. And the number of moles of O2 I calculated out for this problem is 9.06. All right, now I've got moles. Separately then, I also need to determine the uh, temperature. So I take 9 degrees, add it to 273.15. And that should be 282.15 kelvins. Wow, I did not leave myself very much room. Let's go ahead and take this information down here, this equation, and throw everything in here. I've got moles, 9.06 moles for N. I've got R, my ideal gas constant, 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole kelvin. I've got temperature, which is 282.15 kelvins. And beneath that, I've got my volume, which is 2.3 liters. My uh, moles cancel each other out. My kelvins cancel each other out. My liters cancel each other out. And I'm left with units of atmospheres, which is the units, which are the units of pressure that I'm looking for. When I threw that in my calculator, I ended up getting 91.2 atmospheres. In part B of this question, ask us what volume would this uh, oxygen occupy if the temperature were 26 degrees Celsius and the pressure were 0.95 atmospheres. So the volume is the unknown. I already know what R is. Of course, it's 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mulk. We've determined from our previous calculations that the number of moles of uh, oxygen or O2 in the system is, uh, is 9.06 moles. So all I have to do is use the ideal gas law to determine what the volume is in this particular case. I'm not going to do that here, but I'll let you try that on your own.